warm welcome to all the participants of this particular session this session is very important because this question comes to everyone's mind that are the previous year questions sufficient for gate and eac examination and the answer is i will write down in the next slide and the answer is a big no the answer is a big no the previous year questions are not sufficient they are not sufficient yes i can say they are helpful and they are very important i can say yes i can say they are very important but they are not sufficient if you are only solving the previous year questions then you will land up with many issues many problems so let us see that what is the problem of only solving previous year questions and how they cannot help you to get into high ranks okay so let us uh, discuss this now first of all when i say previous year questions okay the previous year questions now previous year questions what are the sources now if you are preparing for gate then if you have covered only the previous year questions of gate is that sufficient no because they can ask you questions from the previous years of esc also so you have to cover the previous year questions of esc prelims yes and then you have to cover the previous year questions from esc mains because they might not ask you the same question but they can repeat the concept they can repeat the concept yes so if you are preparing for gate you have to cover all the previous or questions of gate you have to cover all the questions of prelims of esc you have to cover all the questions of what your esc mains now the thing is that sometimes or many times when you are doing this it is not a guarantee that you are covering all the concepts for a particular chapter for example if i say we have a chapter i am not naming the chapter so suppose we have a chapter in every chapter there will be lot of concepts right there will be lot of concepts suppose concept 1 and concept 2 right and goes on suppose there are you know around 80 concepts okay suppose there are around 80 concepts in this particular chapter now when you are doing a previous or question suppose you solved all the previous or questions of gate it is possible that you might have touched concept 1 concept 4 concept 6 concept 80 okay and suppose con i will name some more concepts here suppose concept 56 concept 43 concept 36 like this suppose you touched all these concepts you touched all these concepts but you can see that there will be many missing links there are many concepts which you will miss okay if you are only doing the previous or question there will be certain concepts in every chapter which you will definitely miss if you are only doing the previous or questions of gate now if you do the previous or questions of esc prelims and mains then what will happen then some more concepts will also get covered then some more questions okay, some more concepts will also get covered like this but suddenly there will be again some more concepts which will be remaining is not possible to touch all the concepts only by solving the previous question and what happens in the examination is that if you don't cover those con missing concepts so it is very important then you cannot land up having a 70 plus score you will land up having 40 to 50 range and therefore many students who are busy in solving only the previous or questions they fall into this 40 to 50 marks range in the gate and they cannot cross this 70 if you want to cross 70 then you have to do what the previous or questions plus many other questions which will cover this missing concepts which will cover this missing concepts otherwise it is not possible to score more than 70 now what happens is that students they solve only previous or question and they land up in 40 to 50 marks range and 30 to 40 marks range and they they also learn from teachers who are very happy to teach only previous or questions yes so what happens 
you are solving questions of previous year questions so you have you happily get into the range of 30 to 50 marks or 40 to 50 marks or sometimes even 50 to 60 marks but you cannot cross the barrier and cannot reach above 70 which will not give you a good rank which will give you a place in the PSU or a MTEC from the top IITs yes so if you want to achieve that you need to not only solve the previous year question yes you have to solve what many other questions which will cover the missing concepts now that can be done by following a teacher who is not only following the previous year questions he is teaching the whole subject concept wise irrespective of the previous year yes he is serially covering all the concepts irrespective of the previous year and whenever a concept is matching a previous year then he is discussing the previous year that is more right approach of teaching and learning rather than only solving previous year questions. Now, many students, they do the previous year questions of GATE, EAC and uh, EAC prelims and EAC mains. Therefore, they miss what? They miss the many concepts. Now, what you can do to increase your uh, concepts uh, uh, coverage, you can also do the mains questions of your civil service examinations. Okay. So in civil service examination, there is a civil engineering paper, electrical engineering paper, mechanical engineering paper. So you can solve those questions. Then more concepts, missing concepts, which are missed in either solving previous questions of GATE or ESC, they will be covered. Or you can do what? In when Indian Forest Service also, Indian Forest Service also has what? I'll write down full name so that you know it is not... Uh, confusing or insulting let me write down civil services examination or here i will write down engineering service examination so you can solve the previous year questions of engineering services examination you can do the previous year questions of civil services examination mains questions you can also do the mains questions of indian forest service okay it's not foreign it's forest service there also we have civil engineering okay as an optional so there also you can do it there also you can do okay now the thing is that okay so somebody will say sir i will collect all these previous questions and i will solve all of them and i'll get a good rank in get that is good it is good but the thing is that when you are solving all these previous year questions they might not be in the sequence of the concepts of a particular chapter yes or no they might not be in a particular sequence of the concepts in a particular chapter because questions are haphazardly yes so it becomes very difficult for many students to arrange that in a sequential order and that can be done by a teacher who has completed all these things okay all these things and then arranged everything in concept wise arranged everything concept wise in the lectures so similar thing has been done by us in Baiju's exam prep we have recorded lectures if you download the app and you go to learn with video lessons there you can find lot of lectures which are arranged chapter wise concept wise and in those chapters you can get the concepts which will be pertaining to all the previous questions of gate your engineering service civil service and indian forest service yes so if you can do it very good if you can do it yourself then very nice or if you are unable to do you can take the help of a teacher who is teaching the concepts and then relating them to the previous question rather than only solving the previous question now another thing i will tell you why you know previous questions are not sufficient now somebody tell you, sir, I will just to solve previous year questions and I will go to the exam and then nice, very nice, beautiful. But it's a problematic thing. Why? You see, previous year questions, there are so many previous year questions, right? And so many concepts. And if you are haphazardly solving them without understanding the, sub, the concepts in a sequential manner and you are missing certain intermediate concepts, then what will happen? Then what will happen? Then you might forget those concepts, right? 
it is not this many students are tell me sir i forget the formulas i forget the uh, the values and many things i forget when i study i study when i, when I solve the previous question i am able to solve them but when i attend new questions i face difficulty so the reason behind this is you are only solving the previous question and after some time what happens you know you start remembering the previous question instead of understanding the concept you start remembering the previous question and then what you do you try to console yourself make yourself happy that oh oh nice 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 i am able to solve the previous question so i am doing good it is just creating a illusion for yourself you are just trying to uh, we can say hide behind this previous question that you are preparing for gate examination no you have to cover the concepts if your concepts are strong and no concept is missing then only you can score more than 70 marks or else you will end up with 30 to 40 or 40 to 50 marks and then again you are preparing for the next year for gate examination okay so to avoid such things to avoid such things or one thing also happens with many students they clear the prelims examination but they uh, suffer in the mains examination because in mains examination they ask many questions which might not be there which might not be there in the previous question there might be the missing concepts the missing things which you have missed by only solving the previous question and what happens as you know things are uh, changing now nowadays many new type of concepts are been asked in the esc mains yes and therefore if you are not having a thorough study of everything in a detailed manner in a sequential manner not only depending on the previous year then only you can score good your concepts will be good you will be able to remember many things you will be able to retain the concepts and score good now this bad habit has come to students because of many teachers who are teaching only the previous question because they don't want to go into the concepts in sequential manner because that will be hard work for them yes and many students also don't like it yes many students say no 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 sir we will only solve previous question so teachers are giving to them means what okay you want previous question so we will solve only previous question but the thing is that that is the wrong way of both learning and teaching so if you want to learn the concepts in a more comprehensive manner where whatever question is asked in the examination you are ready for that okay and you are not missing any important concepts in between by solving only previous or question then you solve previous or question yes we need to solve previous or question no doubt about that but take that as what one of the part of the preparation that yes i have studied 10 concepts then i am going to solve the previous or question okay so first you study 10 concepts then and solve the questions from your uh, uh, notes yes and then you solve the previous or question is perfectly fine that will enhance your concept that will we can say reinforce your concepts but apart from that when you are solving uh, giving mock tests or you are practicing questions that time it's very important that you also solve questions from the missing concept which are not asked in the previous year so first is not the previous year first you study the notes properly and thorough uh, understanding of the concepts while solving the questions and then you go to previous year and and when you should ask me sir how to choose the teacher and all it you see the teacher is only teaching you previous years or not if the teacher is only teaching you previous years no 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 that will not going to give you a good rank in the gate and es examination yeah you might get 40 to 50 marks and you can be happy yes that is uh, or you clear the prelims and you will be happy without clearing the mains or you are just uh, get some 100 150 marks in your prelims and you are happy no that happiness is short term and i will tell that that is not success if you want to get success means what you have to go in, get into the psu you have to get into what the top iits or you want to clear the exe examination both prelims and mains and then interview right and therefore as i told Yes the answer to the question is what are previous or questions sufficient for gate and esc preparation no they are not sufficient but they are important thank you very much hope you like the video if you like the video please mention uh, your comments in the comment section you can also ask your questions in the comment section or your view point okay we can have discussions on that also thank you very much see you in some other video